using the treatments which they, they know. And the man started improving. Uh, the temperature came down. Uh, he had developed red eyes. They are clearing. And this morning I spoke directly with the doctors involved. They said even his appetite had come back. So in, in, in a funny way, I'm also happy that we are now f fighting this uh, virus directly instead of, of hearing stories from other people. Then there were the eight others. These eight had come uh, separately. Some had come on the, on the Emirates plane and other, others had come on the Ethiopian. There was a little bit of a mix-up with these eight because they were identified by the temperature monitors at the airport and they were told to step aside. And then they were taken for, for screening, for tests. When the first test came in, the, the, one of them was negative. And this doctor who was on duty made a mistake. He sent these people, to, he said, you go, you, you, you are negative. All of them, the eight. But when the other samples came in, they were, ne they were positive. Therefore, these people said, where are the people? Oh, the doctor said, I, I have... Uh, I've sent them away, but they have all now been traced. Traced, uh, the, the, the five, the one, the, the first one, plus the four others uh, in Entebbe, Entebbe area, Entebbe hospital. Uh, then there is one in Masaka, uh, and then there are uh, two who are being brought back from Kayunga. And uh, those are, that, that finishes the number, the nine. Those are eight, where is the other one? Makindi, one, one, one of them has been identified in Makindi. So they have been identified, but that means they had mixed with some people. They, they had interacted with some people in the town. Uh, but this is the work of what they call the surveillance teams. Uh, they will identify all the people they ever interacted with and contact them and check them. There are other samples which are being tested, but up to now, the confirmed ones are nine, are the nine. But as I told you at the beginning, uh, the treatment seems to be working, at least in the case when I spoke with the doctor in the morning, at that time there were four in Entebbe, and the doctor has told me that the three were improving. Uh, it, was, it was only one who still had uh, a fever. The first one, uh, his last thing to recover was appetite. Appetite was beginning to come back. Uh, but what was interesting, from what the doctors were telling me, was that all this time he, he was really eating, although even, even when the, the appetite was down, but he was eating. He, he, they, they never fed him through the veins, uh, which means he was uh, not so bad off. So therefore, this means the, the, uh, the people who escape and try to hide are endangering, uh, endangering themselves unnecessarily. There is a possibility that even if you are infected, you, you can be treated. As I told you from the very beginning on the first broadcast, 
I told you that this disease is very infectious, but at the same time, the kill ratio was not so high. It was not like Ebola. Uh, Ebola, you remember, I told you on the first broadcast, I told you Ebola was killing 67% in Uganda. Out of 100 uh, people infected, 67 would die. But uh, th this virus in China, the figure was around 3%. But in Italy, it seems it has gone up a bit. It's like 15% or something like that. So there is a possibility that you can be treated. Therefore, anybody trying to hide is actually endangering himself unnecessarily and also endangering others. Now, we still have, uh, we preempted the big problems you remember when I addressed you first time? You, you can see the wisdom of the measures we took of closing schools. We took away the 15 million people, Ugandans, who are in the school system, of, of suspending the worships, uh, the mosques and the churches, which of course uh, put together a lot of people uh, we, we, we also handled some other groups, big groups, but we still remained with the problem of public transport. It's still a problem. It's the only problem I'm still uh, worried of in my head. And you remember I told you, please, do not use this public transport uh, if you don't have to postpone those journeys of, of, of using public transport. If you don't have your own transport, uh, stay at home or, or walk or, 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 uh, or cycle to, to the workplace. Uh, this is the only point that I, I, I am a bit concerned about. I am there for monitoring the situation let us see how these people who went in the population uh, from the airport, how far they saturated, and, and, and we, 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 we see their associates. Uh, and if we find that the problem is growing, then the next thing you shall do is to suspend uh, public transport. Uh, but that one, let's wait and uh, uh, moni moni monitor more. Uh, yesterday and this morning I checked with uh, our factories. Uh, I was thinking about the bicycles. Because you see the problem of transport has two parts. There are the towns and the cities. If the cities and the towns had enough bicycles, bicycle, bicycle, of Gari, bicycles. By now, I would have suspended uh, uh, public transport in the towns. Because uh, you, you, people can cycle to wherever they want to, to cycle, uh, 12 miles up to Matuga, up to Namanve. Cycling is actually even healthier than sitting in cars. It, it, it is free. So I, I've talked with the rural, rural industries and, to, and told them to urgently uh, put up uh, a cycles factory. I, I also talked to Barbara Murwana and to Honorable Amelia Chambade to see whether we cannot revive the Roadmaster factory of, 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 of motors, of, of cycles, by, of bicycles, of, of Namanvi. We may have to bring in, so that may have to be the answer. Because with the bicycle, you are by yourself. You are not part of this group, you are not with the border border, somebody even border border, because you never know whether the border border, you, 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 you keep the company you want to keep. The, the, the answer, if, if, if this uh, virus persists, 
we shall get rid of public transport and, 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 and promote the, the bicycles. Now, of course, you cannot bicycle from Rida to, to, to Kampara. That one we may have to suspend. We may have to, to say, as long as the factories are working, because for me, I am worried about, apart from fighting the virus, my next worry is production. And the production centers are the factories and the farms. I have no worry about the farms, because the farms, people are busy, they, they, are, they are not in crowds, they are isolated. A man is in the garden with his wife, there there is no danger. And you remember in my speech the other day, I said these were 33 million Ugandans. These were in the gardens, 33 million. So then you, you, you have the 15 million children who went home. So really the, the, the endangered population are the ones in the town uh, who, who keep using this public transport. But if we solve the problem of public transport, by, for instance, temporarily shifting to the bicycles, uh, then the, the inter, inter, intercity, intercity transport, inter, in, 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 long distance, we may have to suspend it, uh, to, to suspend it. Otherwise, when you, we, 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 I need to remind you again of the three points about the virus itself, the science of the virus. Number one, do not allow do not allow anybody near you who is coughing or sneezing out. People who know English, they said uh, sneezing means only sneezing out. That's what they told me. I said, how about sneezing in? They said, that is sniffing. I said, but sniffing, I thought sniffing was smelling or something. But anyway, whatever it is, don't sit, don't allow in, in a group somebody who is coughing or sneezing. This is number one. Even when we are still using public transport, the, 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 the owners of those vehicles should not allow in, in anybody who is sneezing or coughing. Number two. Do not do anything without washing your hands. Wash your hands when you when you when you come from outside, from uh, touching tables, from this, from this. Wash your wash your hands. When you wash your hands, the virus dies. There is the issue about the sanitizers. There are people who are crooks. Who, who are over hiking the price of the sanitizers. But I want to tell you that you don't need the sanitizers. The soap is enough to kill that virus. We went into the science the other day when we were in Entebbe. The soap can kill the virus if you wash properly and you, you leather, you leather the, 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 the soap enough, uh, you wash the palm, you wash the, between the fingers, you wash at the back, and you give it enough time. Uh, the, the, by, by the chemistry of the soap, because the, the, the soap removes fat from our bodies, that's how it removes the, the N0, N0 uh, dirt from our body. It reacts with the fats which are on our skins, the oils, and that's how they are removed. Now, these viruses also have some fat in their skin, and the, the soap will kill the virus. So the, the, those crooks should not, uh, 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 sh sh should not uh, uh, hold you to hostage by saying that you must buy the sanitizers. If they overprice them, leave them, use ordinary soap. Ordinary soap. And the cruda, I think the, I think the cruda, the soap, the better. Don't you think so?
Dimiriangombe, this crude soap. I think it may even be better than the other scented uh, ones. This is uh, Zawagaga. I think the, the crude soap may even be better than uh, than the other ones. So, use soap. So, number one, don't get anybody near anybody who is coughing or sneezing. And if you are sneezing or coughing, please don't go in the public. Excuse yourself. Stay at home. Uh, and even when you stay at home, don't, don't uh, spray your children uh, or your members of your family. Isolate yourself. Number two, water is wash with water and soap. We shall have to talk to the water, or water corporation about the price of water. We, we can look at that. Tomorrow in the cabinet we shall talk about it and we shall give you uh, guidelines on it. But number three, remember this virus only goes through the soft parts of the body, through the nose, the eyes, and the mouth. Even if somebody was 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 irresponsible and sneezed on this table and I came and I touched it and the virus were on my hands. This virus will stay there until evening when I wash and they go away. If I don't touch myself on the, in the, on the mouth, the eyes or the nose. And you remember I told you how I always use my left hand to blow my nose, never this one. And I never make sure that my right hand never touches my, that's why you never see me clapping. When you, when you are clapping like this, me, I, 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 I just bang the table. Because I don't want this one, which I donated to the public, to mix with my domestic one. This is my, my domestic. This is public. The, the, the right hand is for public. This one is for myself. This was my own, our own. It was not actually mine. It was a, a reverend in 1959 who sensitized us uh, when we were being confirmed uh, in, in, the, in the church uh, to, 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 to take Holy Communion. He said, you never put your... When you are receiving the, the bread, don't, don't put your, your right hand because you are using it for, uh, for non-personal needs. Use, use this one. So the, the point there is do not touch yourself uh, with the hand which you are using to, to, to open doors, to touch tables, to write. These pens are also for, uh, the, the, the pens to count money in the market, don't touch yourself with that hand. Especially don't touch yourself in the soft parts. So whatever happens to the virus, if we, even if the virus was around, if we observe those three, the virus will eventually die. So it is the carelessness of those three uh, that, that is really allowing the virus to, to, to enter uh, uh, our bodies. Now, then I am hearing uh, crooks who are hiking the prices of food. I want to warn those people. I will send sp spies in the town. If I find anybody hiking the prices of food, I will cancel his license. His license will be cancelled because you are crooks. Because the food, fortunately, Uganda is not like other countries. The food is produced here. What has happened to, to make the food go up? What has happened? I am a farmer. Uh, the bananas are there. The cassava is there. The cows are there. So what, what has changed to, 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 to make the, uh, the beans? What has changed to make the, the, this exp expensive? So I warn, first of all, anybody who is overcharging, we shall cancel his license. 
We shall send the people, they will come as if they are pretending to buy, they catch you red-handed, license is cancelled. You never trade here. And we shall never give you a license again because you are a crook. You, 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 you take advantage of us. But, but secondly, I may organize uh, NRM cadres to bring this food from the villages and, and sell directly and, and, and we forget about these useless uh, crooks of, of Kampara. We can organize, uh, we had done it before actually. There was a time when the, the, the town was full of groups which were crooks. And we organized a parallel uh, supply ch chain uh, to bring things and sell at the uh, proper prices. So we may have to do that, but uh, I warn the businessmen, please uh, don't lead us in temptation, uh, but de deliver us for, from evil. The, the other issue people are talking about was the testing center is very far. That's not true. The central testing center is in Entebbe, yes. But the reception points are uh, all over the place. I asked the minister, and, he, and she said there were 100 in the whole of Uganda. And I said, how many are in Teso alone, the Teso area? The centers where they have the, the bottles to go, to go for, for testing. He said in the Teso area there were at, at least five. Uh, so if you want to check, you just go to the nearest health center. Don't burden yourself with knowing where to go, finding out where the testing center is. You just go to your nearest health center three, they will guide you, they will tell you where to go. They will take the sample, they know how to bring it to the center, and you will get results. There is a relay system. So therefore, we are now in close uh, because the, the other time we were trying to prevent, but I think we were late by, by, by a day or, or two, uh, because that's how all these cases, nine of them have come from Dubai. All of them. There was no case which was from here, from Intano. Uh, if we had closed the airport, uh, maybe two days before, these people would not have, have come in. But we had to, to, to consult, we had to send the notice according to international law, and, and we had to do our own internal uh, consultation uh, to, to, to the cabinet on Monday, then the, 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 the church people on Tuesday, then we started moving on Wednesday. Uh, and and uh, at that time, we were still hoping that to not to close the airport, but eventually we were forced to, to close the airport. So for me, I think the situation is, is, is manageable. We shall manage it. If you only listen carefully to what we are saying, we shall manage it. We are already even handling the treatment. We have got these people who are being treated now. And some of them are responding. Uh, uh -huh. And we have, we have traced the others who, who, who had escaped. And uh, so the situation is, is not, uh, we, we shall handle it. Just listen to our advice. The three points, wash your hands. No, no, no. Do not get near anybody who is coughing or sneezing. Do not get in, 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 in anywhere near anybody who is coughing or sneezing. And do not allow him in your vehicle. Do not allow him in, in an office. Secondly, wash your hands with water and soap and soap. Water alone without, without, without soap is not enough. Thirdly, do not touch yourself with unwashed hands in the mouth, the nose, and the eyes. I thank you, and I wish you good luck. We shall overcome this uh, this challenge. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.
Okay, man. Anything else? Twalabino, twala, chukwa hii. Mhm. That we are lost. I watch this on the press conference. Okay. Chuan Mambian. 